Remembering our past. What are the factors that can affect autobiographical memory? By Dr. Laura Jenkins. Autobiographical memory is a form of long-term memory that consists of remembering episodes of our lives. These memories are based upon elements of personal experiences of specific events and times, known as episodic memory, and also more general knowledge about the world, and this is known as semantic memory. Researchers explain that autobiographical memories are created within a memory system called the self-memory system. The self-memory system is a conceptual model in our minds composed of two components, an autobiographical knowledge base and the working self. The autobiographical knowledge base contains the knowledge of the self, so who you are, and information about your own persona. It is used to provide information on what the self is, what the self was, and what the self can be, and this helps us to understand where our own personal experiences then fit in. By understanding how your past experiences relate to your current experiences, behaviour can then be shaped. Included in this knowledge base are lifetime periods, which are details about events such as school years, so those key milestones in someone's life. General events are also included in the autobiographical knowledge base, and general events can include important events such as first-time achievements, for example, riding a bike. The working self is an unconscious structure and in this structure we have a set of active personal goals and images about ourselves. These personal goals and self-images can work together to modify cognition and thoughts and the resulting behaviour so that an individual can operate effectively within the world. So, for example, if we had a working self that would set a goal of needing to be quiet in a lecture, but our behaviour was then loud and disruptive, we would compare our behaviour to that of the expectations of the working self and, in turn, our behaviour could be modified to be calmer. There are many factors that can influence an individual's autobiographical memory and these can include a natural decline with age, brain and memory disorders such as Alzheimer's disease and also an individual's mood and emotion. I have recently read an interesting piece of work which looks at how our own emotive state can influence how we create autobiographical memories. As autobiographical memories are often paired with heightened emotions, as in they are usually really happy experiences or really traumatic experiences, It won't come as a surprise that when an individual is more focused upon their own mood, this can then influence how autobiographical memories are then recalled. If an autobiographical memory creates a happy mood, so in terms of the original event being a happy one, then an individual will be able to more accurately recall their autobiographical memory if they are feeling a similar way to that of the real-life happy event. So, for example, if a person was happy when receiving exam results, they will be able to recall the day of the exam results in more detail if they are feeling happy at the time of being asked to recall the information within memory. As well as looking at how emotions may influence autobiographical memory, we can also see how mental health may affect the memory of autobiographical events. Often we find that individuals who have been diagnosed with a mental health issue may also have memory issues and autobiographical memory can be heavily affected by mental health issues such as depression or in some cases post-traumatic stress disorder. Key depression theories such as those discussed by Beck tend to include elements of autobiographical memory as autobiographical memories can be key to the etiology of depression. Research has found that an individual who has been diagnosed with a mental health disorder may have a distorted perception of reality and what they feel is correct about their own lives may not be an accurate reflection of what is actually occurring. In turn, this could mean that an individual with a mental health disorder could have issues when being asked to recall autobiographical events and they may recall events in an unclear way. Mindfulness-based cognitive therapies aim to support the individual when recalling information 
as this type of therapy can be very relaxing for the individual. If an individual is calm and less emotive or less stressed when recalling the event, then the hope is that the memory is more accurate.